<clears throat> All right, guys, what is the energy required to convert 18 grams, also known as one moles, of ice at negative 25 degrees Celsius to steam at 125 degrees Celsius? And this is all happening at one atmosphere of pressure. So to start this problem, we're going to need to be using this formula, which is heat equals mass times specific heat times the change in temperature. So we also need to take into consideration that we are going from ice to water to steam. All three of these have different specific heats. So from negative 25 degrees Celsius to zero, we're going to have to use 2.09 as our specific heat. And then we're actually going to need to incorporate the heat of fusion because we're going to be melting that ice. So it takes more energy to actually melt that ice to get to liquid water. Then from zero degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, we're going to be using 4.18 as our specific heat. At that point, we're going to be needing to use the heat of vaporization which is 40.7 to convert that water to steam. And then the specific heat of steam will be the resulting 25 degrees Celsius. And once we're all done, we're gonna to have to add all those, um, all, that, all those joules together, all that energy together to get the resulting specific heat. So we're gonna start this problem by taking 18 grams and this is for the ice, times 2.09, and this is coming from the specific heat of ice right here. And this is multiplied by our change in temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius, because we're going from negative 25 to zero degrees Celsius, which gives us 25. And this is actually gonna equal out to be 940.5 joules. So going from negative 25 to zero degrees Celsius, we get 940.5 joules, and that's at this specific heat. So then we're gonna go on, that's step number one. Step number two is we're gonna have to melt that ice. So we need to use the heat of fusion for this. So we're gonna add in, um, we have one mole, we have one mole of, of ice that needs melted and the heat of fusion for ice is 6.01 kilojoules per mole. So moles cancel out and we are left with 6.01 kilojoules for step number two. All of these, all of these units, all these um, numbers are eventually going to be added together though. Moving on to three, we have 18 grams. And this is multiplied by 4.18 because now we're using the heat or the specific heat of water. So for the specific heat of water, which is 4.18, we're gonna be multiplying that by the mass in grams that we have times 100 degrees Celsius because we're going from zero to 100. And this is going to land us at, let's see, actually, you know, let's convert this to kilojoules. So we're actually going to multiply this by one kilojoule and divide by 1000 joules. There's 1000 joules in a kilojoule. So we just want these joules to cancel out. And I should have joules divided by grams, degrees Celsius over here. So these joules are going to cancel out. And that lands us with 7.524 kilojoules. And I'm going to come up here and convert this to, to kilojoules. This is going to be 0 0.9405 kilojoules. And moving on to step number four, we are going to need to use the heat of vaporization to convert this to steam. So we're going to take one mole of water and we're going to multiply that by the heat of vaporization 
which as you can see up here is 40.7 kilojoules per mole. Moles cancel out and we're left with 40.7 kilojoules and then step number five. All we need to do now is find the amount of energy going from 100 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. Now remember that this is going to be the specific heat of steam, which is 1.84. So we go 18.0 grams times 1.84 joules divided by grams degrees Celsius. And this is times the change in temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius. And this gives us 0 0.828 kilojoules. Now that we have all of our um, amounts of energy here, to find the total all we got to do is add those together. So in adding all these energies 0 0.9405, 6.01, 7.524, 40.7 and 0 0.828 we end up getting 56 Point zero kilojoules and that is our answer